I studied economics and geography. I did BA in geography. Before joining this course, I was working as an engineer, planning rural roads for the government of India. I'm from a real estate background. I was uh, working at Ministry of Urban Development as a research associate. I chose this course because I was really interested in geospatial data science, but I also really wanted to understand cities better as complex systems. I wanted to stay ahead of and learn these latest tools and analytics. I enjoyed most all the different topics that we studied. I think machine learning and quantitative methods was my favorite. Well, I like that there was such a range of programming languages that we learned from R, Python, SQL, Google Earth Engine. I found it was interesting to be exposed to such a range of these languages. Yeah, absolutely. And I think having this base of understanding Python and R, it opens so many opportunities. We have any technical skills in terms of softwares, but now leaving this program has actually finished me with a lot of technical skills. Now I'm so confident to take up a PhD opportunity for the future as well. In my future, short term will be to work for the governments in Asia because uh, urban development is happening in all the cities. And the long term will be to work for the United Nations for uh, dealing with issues like uh, access to infrastructure development, access to education, access to healthcare. I got the CASA scholarship funding, which obviously helps with expenses living in London, but there were many other academic opportunities as well. For example, we were linked with industry mentors, such as um, Borough Happold, Westminster City Council, Knight Frank. It was beyond what I expected, really, in terms of opportunities. So coming from a financially challenged background, the funding from CASA was very essential in making this global educational dream possible. It covered tuition, accommodation and living expenses, which it took off the pressure. It truly made me grow in the academic as well as professional field. If there had it not been the funding, I wouldn't be here today. Frankly speaking, coming from Ghana and in financial difficulties. The students' diversity from various backgrounds was an enriching experience and kind of broadened my perspective about urban global challenges. It was the first time I was meeting somebody from Africa, somebody from South America, so it was a very diverse cohort. And uh, I really enjoyed to be with these guys, learn from their urban issues, what, what kind of solutions they are doing in those cities. The project that I enjoyed most working on was my dissertation, which was in collaboration with UNITEC. It was a project about trying to improve a model that uses satellite imagery for mapping informal settlements. The fact that it was also in collaboration with UNITEC, it really gave like this real-world application to the problem that I was trying to solve. I think it's interesting how we can actually transform these skills into applications that people can afterwards use and help solve real-life problems. Do you think our module has taught us that we can provide some solutions for this kind of urbanization? And you can apply some of these simulation methods to gain insight into the traffic flow and then uh, pedestrian flow as well, and then develop a predictive model that can manage this particular thing. Or even we can predict a future footfall that can capture these nuances and characterizations and enhance the governance and policy at the same time. Being a student in London is definitely a great experience because there are a lot of opportunities, even specifically in the geospatial field and in urban studies. There are a lot of events and places to go and meet interesting people, also opportunities for networking. The faculty here uh, are quite experts in the field. They really help you along the way. And you will be able to work on actual projects and make useful decisions for the future of the cities to make our cities more inclusive as well as sustainable in future.